Hi, it's Mark from Haven, and welcome to another episode of Mark's Monday Mashup. Today is Monday, June 12th. You know what that means? I know what that means. That means that today is the first day of our first session of Camp Love a Pet. And although you're not seeing me in my camp t-shirt today, because as you know, as I've said before, we filmed these the week before, the next two episodes following this one, you will see me in my camp shirt, and we will be out with the campers and you'll be able to see the campers in what they're doing. So we will be working out uh, with them for the next two weeks. Graduation will be Saturday, June 24th. We're really excited and we really, really want to get all eight dogs adopted. Uh, if they're all adopted and the adopters hopefully will come to the graduation and all the campers get to hand off those dogs to the new forever homes. It is absolutely amazing. And everybody's invited. If you want to come out to a camp graduation, it will be Saturday, June 24th here at Haven. Graduation starts at 9 o'clock. We're done by 11. It's really cool. And the campers do all kinds of really cool stuff with the dogs. Uh, and they, they get to present all of it during graduation. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I, I love Camp Love a Pet. It's my favorite time of year. So for the next two episodes, you will be seeing more of Camp Love a Pet. Okay, speaking of, it's starting to get warmer. This week it's supposed to be hopefully still in the 80s, not quite 90s, but next week we're looking at high 90s. So that means make sure your animals have some shelter, fresh water, and they're ready to go if they're outside in, in this heat. Also, if you've been bringing them with you shopping and stuff, the weather is getting too hot to do that. Even in 80 degree weather, your car can cook a dog very quickly it gets up to in the hundreds very very quickly so please make sure that you're not doing that if you see an animal in a vehicle in distress please call the number below 241-2550 if it's city of Reading or city of anderson our animal control officers will come out they've got a temp gun they're going to check that out and they're going to make sure that they don't leave until that animal is no longer in distress and is taken care of we do have an event coming up this friday it's going to be from four to seven it's going to be at mosley family cellars tasting room on pine street the event is called wolf wag and wine we will have a dog there uh, there's going to be it's 20 dollars tickets there's more information on the link below so click on that it's going to be a lot of fun a lot of the proceeds are coming back to haven help with the animals we're going to have a dog there more than likely it's going to be a camp dog but we'll see that's going to be this friday it's going to be a lot of fun so we definitely encourage you to come out have a glass of wine have a hot dog hang out with us going to be a lot of fun and Mosley's has been a great community partner with Haven and so many other organizations in our amazing community. We want to thank them and go out for that. Also our cars program is still in full swing so if you have a vehicle that you no longer want doesn't have to be running or you have a neighbor or a friend or family member that's been saying hey I got to get rid of this old jalopy that's sitting in the backyard great call the number below they'll come out they'll do all the paperwork they'll give you the tax deduction They'll give you all of that. They'll take it off your hands. And then when they sell it, we get a large portion of the proceeds that go to that, like a large, like 80% of it comes back to Haven and goes to help the animals. So it's just another way that you can help support Haven. Speaking of, I always get asked, how can I support? Well, donating certainly, sponsoring events is great. Volunteering, we absolutely adore our volunteers. If you want to volunteer, there's a page on our website, a simple application you talk to Cassie, who is our volunteer coordinator, you met Cassie lots and lots of times on this, and she will get back with you about what the next steps are after you fill out the application. But the easiest way is just subscribe to this channel, like, hit the notification bell, and share it. Share it with your friends and family. Go on our social media, go on our Facebook, share our posts, share the animals that are available. We are really full, folks. I wish that there comes an episode where I say, hey, you know what, we got tons of kennel space. This is a great time. And I really hope that that time is sooner rather than later. But unfortunately right now, we're really full and we could really use your help. So please help us network these amazing dogs and cats and get some space for us so that those strays that do need space can come in here and we can find them homes as well. Since camp starts today, when this is released, I'm gonna introduce you to one of our camp dogs today. So I'll be right back with a camp dog. Okay, this is Reed, our assistant manager in adoptions who you met before. She is also our foster coordinator. So if you're interested in fostering any animals, especially kittens this time of year, Reed is who you're gonna go through for that. And this is Jeannie. Jeannie is about a one to two year old lab mix. She is a total sweetheart. She is a camp dog. So she is going to meet her campers, uh, well, 
Today is Monday the 12th, that's right. So this is the week before. So she will have met her campers a couple days ago on Saturday for orientation. And then today was her first day out with her campers, getting to work with them, which is gonna be a lot of fun for her. She is great with all animals. She is really looking for a forever home and she is a huge love. And again, she will be a camp dog, which means she will be here until graduation, which will be Saturday the 24th. So if anybody adopts, I'm sorry, when somebody adopts this amazing dog, they will be able to come to graduation on the 24th and that those campers will hand off Jeannie to their her new forever home, which will be great. And it's a really exciting moment for the campers, the dog and the adopters. I wanna thank Reed for everything she does as our assistant manager in adoption. She's absolutely amazing. And I wanna thank Jeannie for starting off our camp videos right. Jeannie will be a camp dog starting today on the 12th, which is great. So that means that today she got to meet her kids and hang out with them and do all of that. And you'll see Jeannie again throughout the next couple of weeks, I am sure, during our Camp Love a Pet. So until next week, stay safe. We will see you right here on Mark's Monday Mashup. <laughs>